morning, Solid Steppers. This is Miss Ward coming to you from sunny South Florida. I'm out here in a place called Cooper City getting ready to take a look at a wall oven. Customer says he has no display at all, so let's do this electrical diag and see how it's going to go. Wish me luck. Anyway, got a pretty full day, just trying to relax and enjoy the privilege of owning my own business, making my own schedule, and getting out here doing it when I want to do it. Amen. So the topic today is going to do, to do with focus. You know, how do you maintain your focus in the midst of distraction, despair, discouragement, all the disses you can think of? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with how you take care of your temple as far as your body, your mind, and your spirit. You know, I was sitting here looking today and I was like, okay, it's time for me to do a cleanse because I can just see the difference in just my body, my mindset, my energy. So I'm going to stop by um, Publix and this, this, this drink that Arden makes, it's called a two-day uh, detox, it's very popular. Um, it only really consists of grapefruit, orange juice, and uh, I think it's grapefruit, orange juice, and lemon or lime. And they kind of put it all together to you, for you in a gallon. And you're supposed to drink that for two days, you know. You know, and um, kind of flush all the toxins and mucus and unnecessary inflammatory and toxic products out of your body. You know, and I'm a firm believer in that. I feel like the more negative energy, the more uh, toxic and GMO products that you consume, all those things, I think, become a part of you and they affect your natural ability to be stellar, uh, to be clear-minded and focused. You know, I don't drink, I don't smoke anything. Um, and I'm very clear about a lot of things. But because I am that way, um, there are some things that, you know, walking in certain environments, they affect my, you know, my thought process, you know, because I consider myself an empath, which basically means that I walk in a room and I can feel the energy or feel the, well, you know, the mood and the mode and, you know, so, and that's really been an advantage for me in my life because I can walk into situations and know that I don't need to be there and get the hell out. You know, you know, we all got that gut, like, look, you know, I don't need to be here. I don't need to do this. And then every time you stay your ass up in there, what happened? So I feel we all have those senses. I just think that a lot of us are just not in tune or deny them. But with that said, in order to maintain and be at optimum uh, functioning level, you got to work out. You got to get that workout in. I don't give a damn if it's walking, you know, squats where you're standing, you know, jumping jacks, figure it out. Because at the end of the day, you know, I was thinking about uh, Ruth uh, Gator, uh, Bader, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the notorious RBG. And, you know, that woman was sharp as a whip. And, you know, she constantly worked out all the way up to 87, which is when she passed, unfortunately, this week. But I admire her because that lady was tough as nails. You hear me? I mean, this is a woman that buried her husband, and the next day she was sitting on the Supreme Court. You know what I mean? She nursed her husband through his early bout with cancer when they were younger. I mean, there are just people out here that there's just no excuse for you not to get your ass out here and get it. That's all I'm saying. I mean, this lady was like, what, five foot three, came from humble beginnings, faced rejection after rejection just because of her gender. You know, she was one of Harvard, nine Harvard Law students that were female in a class of 552. You know, and this, she was doing this when they wasn't trying to let them in at all. You know, she had a great partner. Her husband uh, was an advocate for her to get the federal, federal judgeship and then eventually the Supreme Court position. And that's what you call just the ultimate partnership. At the end of the day, you know, they had an equal relationship. You know, they didn't have a situation where he was this and she was that and all this role playing. 
So you gotta admire, you gotta really admire people who that were ahead of their time because I'm sure they had a lot of haters and people all in in their ears, you know, while they were trying to build what they did, you know. But legacy is legacy. So shout out to the Honorable R B G. You know, you can say what you want to say about her, but she was solid. Solid, stood for what she believed in, spoke her truth. You got to get, you know, and that's what we see. We don't know what she really went through. We don't know the challenges and the struggles she really had. And I'm sure with time, those things will come out. But, you know, my condolences go out to her family, number one, and to the world. Because that right now, that we lost one in that one. But that's what I'm talking about, though. In order for her to maintain, this lady worked out. She ate a certain way. She lived a certain way. You know, and the fruits always show. You know, the fruits of your labor always show. So just like when I'm rolling out here now, I see all these people on bikes, working out, doing what they got to do. You got to get it in, man. And it comes to a point where it's just no damn excuse. If you want to live or you want to die, you want to live well or you want to just be out here limping along. You got to get every part of your life on 100%. Mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, get it together. You know, because you will never be able to focus and you'll never be able to be prepared for whatever's coming around the curve if you're not in optimal condition. And we all have this, particularly us lazy ass Americans, man. Oh my God. We're in the middle of a COVID crisis, you know? We need to get it together like yesterday but with that said i'm getting a little long with it and i think i'm supposed to turn right here i'm not quite sure but i'm gonna find out in about two seconds but guys it's a pleasure as always miss water signing off and if i help you with anything just like subscribe and share gotta rush because i'm really close to this customer's house and i need to get there on time be blessed and remember in everything you do go get it